What's going on, y'all? I hope all is well wherever you at. Why live in a minimalist lifestyle is going to protect you from a lot of problems, right? Shout out to my brother, Selene, who gave me this shirt, Smoke and Mirrors. This goes perfect with the topic, what I'm going to be talking about, right? Now, when you live a minimus, when you live, what does it mean? Let me start off by addressing what does it mean to live a minimalist lifestyle? It means, in a nutshell, you don't have to worry about the problems that most people have to worry about in the world. Right? In a nutshell, that's what it means to live a minimalist lifestyle. Now, why is it so effective to live a minimalist, a minimalist lifestyle and how it's going to protect you from a lot of problems? Let me ask you a question, right? Before I proceed. Viewers, I want you Comment, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm curious as to what y'all think. But I want to ask y'all a question. Could you pack up everything that you own in less than an hour? Or your sneakers, whatever clothes you have, whatever games you have, Whatever accessories you have, your shades, your hats, whatever you own, right? Could you pack everything you own in an hour? In less than an hour? Right? It's a simple question. But if you think about it long enough... You'll see how insignificant that most things are in life. You see, when you live a minimalist lifestyle, it's easy to think straight, to think more effectively. It's easy. Because you don't have a lot of things clogging your mind. You don't have a whole bunch of clothes. You don't have a whole bunch of sneakers. Some people have 10, 20 pairs of sneakers. You got two pairs of feet. How much sneakers do you need? You got all these clothes. Some people have clothes. They got so much clothes that they can't even wear them. They got they still got new clothes in their wardrobe that they bought years ago and they still ain't take the tags off. They ain't even wear it. What purpose? How are these objects serving you in your life? How are they making you a better person? How are they making you grow? Maybe you have a, a expensive cardinal. How much people right now are paying a high cardinal? Now, let me ask you a question. Do you actually like or love the car that you drive in? Or did you buy this car or finance this car so people could think that you're successful? To show off to people. To prove a point to people. 
And in some cases, there's people that know that having this car, this vehicle, you finance the car. You didn't buy it. You finance the car. You know that this car is causing unnecessary stress in your life. But you still hold on to the car because it's a status symbol. Or you want to look like you're successful. Or you want to keep up with the Joneses. But you're hurting inside. You stressed out. You know what min minimalists do in most cases? Even for the ones that could buy a car, we ride MTA. It keeps us humble. Me personally, I enjoy riding MTA. You know why? Because I get to meet people. I get to meet people, spark conversations. See, I can't do that if I'm driving in the car by myself all the time, listening to music. I can't do that. But that's what most people do when they're driving in the car. They listen to music. That's mediocre stuff. Right? But when you're on transit or public MTA, right, or whatever public service that's out there, you can meet people. You create opportunities for yourself. Right? But this is just an example. Another way. Living a, min a minimalist lifestyle is going to protect you from a lot of problems. Guys, listen carefully to this one. If you are min minimalist, it's going to protect you from the wrong woman. Because there's a lot of scammers out there right now. Right? If you live a min minimalist lifestyle, you're not going to attract a gold digger or a woman that just wants you for money or see you as an ATM machine, the money man. <laughs> right? People who are, guys who attract these kind of women, they out there. You know what I'm saying? They got on the Gucci, the Louis, the, the, the Louis, the designer, all the fancy stuff. They driving the latest cars. But don't be fooled by the smoke. A lot of that shit is finance. There's some guys that's really getting to it and they actually really about that. But for the most part, a lot of it is front. They, a lot of it is, is only for the camera. But deep down, you know, you drowning in debt. Just so you could look like you making it. You could look like you rich in that fast car, that, that luxury car. Right? But you draw unnecessary attention for yourself. And you're going to attract the wrong woman. Because she's looking at what you got now instead of looking at who you are. A, min a, minimalist, a minimalist lifestyle is about keeping a low-key profile. You under the radar. You can move easy throughout the earth. You see celebrities, famous people, unlike popular belief, most people want to be like fame. Oh, I want to be famous. I want fame. But this is a threat to a minimalist lifestyle. Because when you out there, you got to constantly keep up. You got to keep up. But when you live a minimalist lifestyle, now you become more effective. For example, in the house. How much stuff you got in your house right now that you're not using? All that shit is cluttering your mind. 
That's why your thoughts is cloudy. You can't think straight. Clear out all them, all the, the garbage from your closet. The clothes that you're not using. Throw that shit away or give it away. The sneakers you ain't using, give it away. Take it to a shelter. There's people that could use it. Excess, whatever excess you have in your life, get rid of it. Give it away or throw it away if you're not using it. Only keep what you use. If you're keeping stuff that you're not using, it's going to affect the way you think. That's unnecessary clutter in your mind. How much people you know? They say my thoughts are so cloudy. Because you're not living a minimalist lifestyle. You got too much things going on in your life. So you can't focus. You can't be effective in nothing that you do. Because your thoughts is cloudy. And when your thoughts is cloudy, you can't execute. Smoke and mirrors. Your vision becomes blurry. And most women in the world today... No, I, I won't say most, but a lot of women in the world today, they don't live a minimalist lifestyle. This is why they suffer from the, a lot of depression. They constantly got to get their nails done, their hair done, their feet done, their eyelashes done. For what? What are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to attract? Because I'm going to tell you something. A man of substance is not going to be attracted to you. You're going to attract all the guys that you don't want to attract. I'm going to tell you, a man of substance is going to want to know what book you're reading right now. Where was the last place you traveled to? Who are you if you take off the makeup, the wig, the eyelashes, the nails, the feet, all of this stuff that make you look good? Who are you underneath that? That's what I want to find out. But the whole point is, this is a threat to a minimalist lifestyle. These type of women. God, stay away from these type of women. They no good. They are no good. No good. And the last point I want to make before I close out the video is this is for the guys. Why living a, min a minimalist lifestyle is going to protect you from a lot of problems. Listen. Listen very carefully. If you out there, you going to put yourself in danger to get set up by a woman. There's a lot of videos out right now. And I'm, aside from the videos, I know personally from stories that I heard from people that I know. And I speak from experience. Because every wise man was once a fool. It take wisdom to say that, right? You out there, yo, listen. You put yourself at risk of getting set up by a woman. There's a lot of women setting guys up. Oh, you get to the bag, ah, you, 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 you putting all your information on social media, your location, everything. How much money you make showing money off. Not keeping a low-key profile. Not living a min minimalist lifestyle. Oh. 
Oh, so she taking notes now. She gonna line you up with the hit man. Cause she know you want some pussy. That's a threat to your minimalist lifestyle. Guys, y'all better be very careful with this one. Because there's a lot of guys that's getting set up. Because they're not living a minimalist lifestyle. All you got to do is fall back and live with what you need, not what you want. If y'all been watching my videos, I got one pair of shades. These Versace shades that a Muslim brother gave to me before he passed away. Rahimahullah. May Allah have mercy on him. I got about three pairs of shirts in my closet right now. One pair of jeans, two pair of shorts. See how easy it is for me to say these things? It's easy for me to rem remember it because I don't have a lot of stuff. I don't, I, I just live with what I need. I live with what I need. And if you live with what you need, it's gonna call, it's gonna prevent you from unnecessary stress. Unnecessary clutter in your mind. It's going to make you more effective in everything that you do. How you deal with people. How you communicate with people. You're going to become so effective now. And people can't figure it out because they want to know how are you so effective. Yet you have so little. Because by having so little, I could think a lot. <laughs> Tap into the website, JeronSaladProducts.com. You smell good. Y'all already know Sansa Dubai is hitting right now. Sansa Dubai is hitting. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.